Let me start by saying uh, I, I thought this was so well done. This is so well done. Uh, I just want to say congrats. And I'm out. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Great, that was it. No, but if I was being serious, um, what hypothetically would you have borrowed from set? Because I know you wouldn't have actually taken anything from the set of this movie. Of course not. Of course. We didn't take anything, did we? we why, why would we even repeat that? <laughs> it was like, I actually did, um, for the set, uh, for, for the card game, we had to learn some trick moves. Like, so like, you know, like rolling the, the key and rolling like the money and stuff like that, flipping that stuff. That, so they did give us that. And I just practiced at home. I just walk around the house and like flip the, the coins and flip the like the credits in my hand. And um, I still have one. Right, of course. <laughs> Disney, <laughs> come find me. <laughs> I'd love to have taken the lever <laughs> that we pushed oh, to go yeah. into. Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, yeah, yeah. I'd like to have had, had that. Yeah. So you, you have it or you no, no. wanted it? <laughs> no, I would have liked to have had, had that, I think. But, um, but actually, one of the model makers gave me, uh, L3 had uh, uh, various different mouths at the beginning, and uh, he gave me one and turned it into a little brooch thing. Oh, so that's cool. awesome. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Uh, favorite Lando cape? Mini cape. Yeah, mini cape is my favorite too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who was the first person you told you were cast? And how long did they have to keep the secret? Uh, I told my dad, and he had to keep it for, I think it was like a month or so, like kind of thing, which he did a great job of. Like, it was, right. he didn't tell anybody, except my, you know, my mother. Um, but yeah, I told my dad immediately. <laughs> I just, I wasn't, I know I wasn't allowed to, but I was like, sorry. <laughs> like, I just had to. Completely. Yeah. Um, I was at dinner with a friend and I was in her flat and I got this call so I went round into the, into her loo and I was and I got the phone call and then I was trying to be like <laughs> in the loo and then I came out with a really red face and she was like you have to tell me what the problem is. <laughs> and I was like no, no, just, just pooped really hard just, just just needed to hear someone's voice while I was doing that yeah and um, and so I ended up telling her and she was very uh, yeah she was very discreet about it but then yeah dinner just dissolved into um, Star Wars dinner which is great. Completely. Um, did you actually tell the story of the movie to anybody, or did you keep that uh, to yourself the whole time? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell anyone. I was like, who, who didn't I tell? Who didn't I tell? <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I was terrified too. I didn't yeah. say anything to anyone. It was really hard to get the script. We never had mm. the script really until like we were on set, and even then, it was like on these iPad things that were updated physically, like you couldn't update like Wi-Fi. It was very hard to like even know really what was happening until like far deep into the film. Uh, my last question for you guys, memorable moments from filming. Is there a day or two that you will always remember from the making of this film? Yeah, I mean, the going, being in the cockpit and being surrounded by this, the screen that meant that when we were taking off, <laughs> it really did look like we were in space because they put an IMAX screen around the whole Cockpit window, so you couldn't yeah. see you know, that. And the thing was on hydraulics, so we were moving yeah. too. And then do you remember that weird dance that uh, <laughs> that I ended up doing with um, with Jonas? I'll never ever forget that. Wh when? Was I don't know, maybe you weren't there. I want I want to know though now. I think Ron filmed a bit of it. <laughs> You should share it. We're, there's no cameras here. You should share the story. <laughs> no, it was like it was. It was a night shoot, and everyone was exhausted. And Amelia had brought out her speaker to try and get oh, everyone. Oh, I do remember everyone that. going, and she was playing some music, and everyone was so tired. They were just like, oh. And then um, for some reason, I was, I was like, oh, really yeah, feeling it. Really feeling it. And so, and so was Chewie. Uh, so it was, and then eventually, it was just everyone knackered in a in a circle. And then me and Chewie just, just like with each other like really? <laughs> for ages it was beautiful and no one reacted at all um, it went on for a good few minutes and then everyone was like okay so we're ready guys ready <laughs> like, let's get back into this and no one has really spoken about it since yeah. when you said that I thought you uh, when she brought out something I thought you were going to say dragons <laughs> that's, <laughs> a, whole, that's a whole different thing um, uh, did you answer or oh I mean that too but I guess I brought my dad to set once and we were um, on this, that desert, we were in a desert island, an actual city of Star Wars. And it was like a Star Wars city, like mm -hmm. in Savarin. And I brought my dad to set and he just walked around the city. That was like the best, just cause it was like, 
is like a dream. Like, it, it's different when you're on set. Of course, it feels good to be like in the Millennium Falcon, but to be in an actual desert and actually yeah. be in Amazing. a city that they built in the desert was, and to walk around and then see like Chewbacca on his phone. <laughs> like, it was like awesome. That, that was probably the highlight actually, yeah, watching yeah. Chewbacca like open a can of Coke and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it yeah. was really awesome.